We're working in-depth coverage of this story you're seeing only on Eyewitness News. WPRI.com reporter Dan McGowan joins us in studio to answer some more questions. So, Dan, the number of firefighters injured on duty has skyrocketed since the city went to this three-platoon system. What is the city saying about these numbers? Sure. If you look at, at uh, July versus August, right, the, this three-platoon change happened August 2nd. Mm -hmm. And if you look in July, average 10, 12 firefighters maximum that were injured on duty, that number has shot way up. It's gone from uh, at one point 22 firefighters and at no point were we below 20 in all of August even went all the way up to 44 firefighters injured on duty. And what the city is basically saying is that there's a clear trend that as this change has happened they've seen more injuries and they're not so sure that this is related to you know fatigue or something like that. They're a little concerned that there's an abuse of the system happening. So has the city found any firefighter claiming they're injured when they actually aren't or is this just a guess or kind of of you know, something that they're throwing out there. Right Good now. question. The, what Commissioner Perry, we sat down with him earlier today. He's saying that it's statistically impossible for this many people to be injured. So that's where he's saying he's seeing that alarming trend. But to be clear, he definitely has not. They, they haven't sent anyone to another doctor to, you know, to make sure or caught anyone, you know, abusing the system yet. Although they're definitely looking at it. Now, a statement like that, that this isn't statistically possible. You have to imagine that that might rattle the union a bit. What are they? Saying about sure, this. we we sat down with Paul Dowdy, the union president, as well today. As you can imagine, he was pretty. He, he was definitely upset. He says, "Look, going from 42 hours a week to 56, and in some cases, guys working 60, 70 hours in a week, fatigue is a problem. And yes, you are going to see more injuries. You're going to see people call out sick more. So he says they, there's no surprise here, but there's certainly no abuse. And certainly the, not the last time we're going to hear about this. I'm oh, sure they're going to dig a lot more into it. We'll be talking about it a lot, I'm sure. All right, WPRI.com reporter. Dan McGowan, thank you so much.